M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just using RT Systems here for the ADMS M100 programming software, which you can get for $25 without the cable. Now you can use the SCU20 cable and it will work on Windows 11. You just right, if you have a problem with that, just right click, select device manager, and all you do is double click. And if you've got an error here, just right click it, update driver, click browse my computer let me pick from a list and then just choose an older driver and it will work fine don't let yesu tell you that you need to buy a new cable because you don't anyway scu 20 so we're going to follow the instructions here so there's the software we've obviously loaded it up uh, we're going to go when you when they send you the software you they send you your it with a special serial number and you add your email to that and then you download it it's that straightforward so let's go get data from the radio. You should always read the radio first, and we'll follow these instructions here. Plug the RT systems cable in, the PC, which we've done. Turn on the radio, we've done. Press and hold the DISP for one second, and the setup menu appears. So let's do that. DISP. Rotate the dial to select RST clone. So we're going to do that. There it is, number 13. Um, rotate the dial and I'll press the DISP button then rotate the dial to clone and press the DISP button like so uh, click OK on the computer so on the on this radio it does say this radio to other or other to this radio so this radio is going to the PC so we're going to leave it at number one we're going to click OK now do I have to click OK on this radio I'm going to put, yeah, OK. This radio to other, I'm going to click OK. It's searching. Now I'm going to click OK. Right, it's going to follow these instructions here. Rotate the dial to select other and press DISP. Rotate and click OK. Press DISP on the radio to start the transfer. So we'll start, do that again. Turn to OK. Click OK. Searching, and it's, and it's doing it now. So we'll just pause while that's happening. Right, so it's read the radio, and you can see here, it's quite good. You've got all these different selections you can make. There's A, B, we've got band A limit, band B limit, A, B, and lots of settings at the top here. You can go radio menu settings, and look at all these different selections for the radio and APRS. I mean, it's, extens it's very extensive software. Okay. So let's do a basic thing like let's go to when we did when we first selected band A, band B was blank. So what I did was just copy and paste it. So you just put your mouse here over one, go down like that, then go to edit and copy, and then I pasted it into the B band here. Look, let's paste it into something else. So you click where you're gonna paste at the top, right click and go paste. You see and and let's do another one, another very handy one is the file, external data, and we go repeater search, uh, repeater book search we'll use. And then we'll, we'll say that I'm in Bristol, we'll go 100 miles, and we're just going to select 2 meters and 70, you could select all. Click OK, and it's going to find all these repeaters. So now, now you could use Control A to select them all, so go Control A, and it selects them all normally but it's not working now so is it control could be another letter well I'll look it up in a second but first of all we're gonna go click on one with my mouse go all the way to the bottom wow it's found a lot hasn't it then we're gonna go file copy which is actually I just saw it there control C uh, to do that uh, copy that then we can go to one of our other tabs so say we go here click at the top and we can then right click and go paste or what we could have done was go if we had more room we can go edit paste and notice you can select control V when you've done this then you can now send things to your radio I'm just going to show you the control V thing Let's just click here at number two and then go control V and let it populates it. So then if you want to send that to your radio, just remember there's so much more you can do with this software. 
And I think for $25, most of us have already got the cable. You've got preferences as well, I've noticed in this, and that's quite a good one. Preferences. And you can actually tell the software what you want to see on the screen. You don't have to, uh, you know, see everything. You can actually customize it. So you've got grid display, memory, def memory defaults, font, and other. So many things. This one, I would say, always keep this one ticked, because what it does, it opens a new window every time you do anything, so that way you keep your original receipt. So let's have a go at sending it to the radio. So we go communication, send data to radio. Uh, click call sign M0FXB. Click OK. Then we have to follow the instructions. So we've got the cable connected already. Radio is on. And this, let's go, go to rotate the dial to clone we've done that it's uh, we'll read the menu anyway so press and hold the disp key if we go back and then we'll just show you i think let's just go back so what you do you hold down disp rotate the knob to rst clone select with disp clone then it's other radio to this radio. Press DISP, click OK. Then it says waiting. Then at this point you press OK. And if it fails, just do it again. And now it's sending all the data to the radio. And it's that simple. We'll pause it while it does this. So at the end it says completed and then it reboots the radio. And you're good to go. So uh, hopefully that will help you use the RT system software. And you can see now we've got all these different memory channels. And it will do groups and everything and APRS. And it just, look at all that. I don't even know what all this is. But it, there you are. So thanks for watching 73. Please subscribe to my channel. Catch you on air. All the best.